hello my angel babes it is ariana cheyenne and i'm back again with another video in today's video we will be achieving these hybrid slash classic slash whatever you want to call them lashes that i did at home affordable period it's just what it is like get into them okay i mean why pay that much money for these lashes when you can do them yourself it just takes some patience miss mama let's get into it but don't forget to follow me on my socials like comment and subscribe comment down below what you want me to do next and all that other jazz let's go so in this video i used three different lengths of these lashes i've used 16 17 15 16 and 17 these are the only d curl and these two are c curl but i mean it really doesn't there's not really much a difference in it i use these tweezers the only reason why I use these tweezers is because it's easier for the lash to spread and I know how to be careful with them and I use this glue I use this glue to put the lashes on um, it's regular lash glue, glue strip glue is just the dark one I couldn't use obviously you can't use the regular extension lash glue because your eyes will be burning out of this world so this is the best way to go the only con to it is it doesn't have the longevity of the regular lash glue but it gets the job done for the time being these are going to last you three to five days up to a week there you're not going to get that much wear out of them but you will get you know what it's worth i guess also get your mirrors honey like get all the mirrors you need to figure out where and how to put these lashes on because you do not want to get these these lashes or this glue in your eyes you will cry and then you will have to start all the way over because your waterline is going to be wet so you need to this this you kind of just gotta be safe with these and you know take your time take your time because just like with anything else you're messing with your eyes so just just take time and watch how i do it it's really safe so yeah, we're just gonna move on. I will put the link down below for these lashes. And these aren't the only ones that you can get off of Amazon. You just also have to find the best ones for you. These are really good. I recommend these. So if you can find these, get them. Enough with the chitter chatter though. Let's get straight into the video. I'm gonna do a voiceover. So this is my last time talking to you guys. If not, I'll come to the end of the video and speak, but. So here is pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is take your dot of glue and you just kind of make a light dot, um, light to medium to where it doesn't dry on you too fast, but it's enough to pick up the right amount of glue. And you use your tweezers. I brush through my lashes just so there's not any, you know, knots or anything. And when you prepare to pick up the cluster, make sure you pull it very firmly because you don't want the lash cluster to be stringy. So when you pull, pull it very firmly so it can all come together. And then, boom, you will have your lash cluster. And for me, I like to kind of squeeze mine in a little bit so it's not as wide or spread out, may I say. But once I get it to my preference, I then dip it into the glue, my desired amount. I want it to get a medium to small, medium sized dot so that it can stick to my lash line pretty well. So for this clip, I slowed it down for you guys so you guys can see exactly how I do it. But you just place the cluster right under your lashes, but right above your waterline. And then after I place it, I take the other end of my tweezers and I kind of just push the lash in place to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And you may come to a point where when you push the lash up in place with the other side of your tweezer, it may come off, but don't panic. Just put it back on there. The glue is going to dry eventually, so just allow it to dry before you put it on there. Thank you. 
So right here, the lash did touch my eyeball. And you guys, I used to really panic when that happened, but you just have to move quick and just move it off your eyeball really quick before your eye starts watering. Because you just, you just don't want the water to be on your lashes at all. It will cause just too many problems. So here's the first eye done and y'all I am freaking shook it like are you kidding me like what giving you very much unexperienced lash tech okay for this eye, I'm gonna try to get a better better angle for you guys probably gonna be like that and going from the side Let's get it started.
So this is the look that you will get at the end if you just follow those couple of steps that I told you about. I absolutely love them. Like, you can't go wrong with lashes, especially lashes that stay on. These are gonna give you, like I said in the beginning of the video, these are gonna give you your worth, the wear, the, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You're gonna get your wear's worth. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. You're just gonna, you're gonna get what the lash glue allows you to get. If you find a better glue, please let me know. Put me on to any other glue you guys can find because Ardell doesn't work for me. Only this glue, um, the eyelash glue, the extension glue, obviously you can't use that because like I said, your eyes will be burning off. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials and stay tuned for the next video. How she said, yeah, get into it. Get into it, honey. Don't play with me. Don't, don't freaking play.